Morning City Taka, Good Morning London. My name is Zach from Huawei, and today I'm here with you in the southern city of Guangzhou, China, at the Guangzhou Grand World Park to show you the world's first demonstration of a remotely operated passenger carrying drone. That's right, it's a remote control taxi drone. This drone you see right here is going to be controlled from beginning to end through a commercial 4.5G network. So this is the Ihang 184. This is the drone we're going to be using today. As you can see, it's about four and a half feet tall, 530 pounds, and this can take a single passenger on a 25 minute trip up to 100 miles per hour. So how does it do it? Well, if you see right here on the top of the drone, this is the 4.5G module that was jointly developed by Huawei and Ihang. This 4.5G module enables what's called beyond visual line of sight control, which means that you can fly this drone farther than you can see it. So before we take this thing up, I need to let you know one thing. A little bit of bad news today is that because we're doing this demonstration in a public space, we can't legally get a permit to send a person up in the air. I really wanted to go up today, but it's okay. Today, we're still gonna demonstrate the connections and we're gonna demonstrate the remote operating functionality. So let's get this thing up in the air. Okay, so for today's flight, the drone is going to keep at an altitude of about 50 meters up in the air. Uh, it's going to fly along a straight path from where we are right now to the Gardens Lake, about 200 meters away. And it's going to turn around and it's going to fly back here. So the technology behind this is called teleoperated flight, or TOF. Basically, we have a remote operator in a centralized control room right now. He's controlling the drone through a 4.5G cellular network and he's using live streaming 1080p video to basically monitor the surroundings of the drone and make sure that it's safe. Um, to keep it up in the air, the network needs to support less than 50 millisecond latency and it has to have complete flawless coverage from the surface of the earth to 300 meters up in the air. Uh, data from the drone's 1080p cameras is crazy. It needs an uplink of six megabits per second. Um, in the future, when we upgrade to 5G, we can have 4K cameras, and these are going to be about 30 to 100 megabits per second for the uplink. It, it's, it's insane. Um, let's take a look at the control room. Okay, so we're looking at the control room right now, and this, this screen is just massive. If you look at it, it's about two stories high. Um, it's got all the data that you need to control these drones. Uh, it has the pitch, it has the roll, it has how much battery the drone has left, how far it's flown from the source. Okay, okay, it looks like it's coming back now. These things are so cool. I can't wait to see them on the market. And you know what? None of this would be possible without the Digital Sky Initiative. So it brings together you know, groups like Huawei's Wireless X Labs group, mobile operators, and companies like Ihong. Uh, together, we're working on connected application innovation. And basically, we're trying to lay the groundwork for a future new economy, low altitude, industrial drone economy. The applications are going to be amazing and the potential is going to be huge. So thanks for watching guys and back to you Hidetaka.